yes, it's gonna be one of those videos that by the end of this video, is your mind is just gonna explode. And the reason why I say that is because in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got ChatGPT to literally learn from the world's top copywriters and work for me for free. And if you stay till the end, you're gonna see why, number one, the top copywriters in the world um, and, and I say this because I used to hire them. It used to be a case where I might pay a copywriter 15, 30, up to 50,000 plus a percentage of profits in the past when I wanted to save time, but also get them to do all of the heavy work and the heavy lifting. But today you're gonna be able to see why AI can be extremely powerful and extremely scary at the same time. And what it is that I did, because I promise you, yes, you've heard of ChatGPT. There's tons of YouTube videos out there that talks about this, but I promise you, you've probably never used it utilizing this way. Because I'm going to show you how I got ChatGPT to learn from all the top copywriters and literally create copy and content for me. So the way I'm going to show you how that all happened is I'm first going to head over to the screen right now and I'm just gonna head over to chat GPT and share my screen. So the first thing that I did, you've probably heard of prompts and what it is that we feed chat GPT with. So here's what I'm gonna do. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste, um, I've already prepared this beforehand, uh, but basically all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste in a prompt that says, here's what it says. All right, so all I'm gonna do is, I ask chat GPT, can I give you examples of how I write bullet points copy and how you can rewrite my bullet points based on those examples, right? Pretty straightforward command. And it says, yes, I can help you rewrite your bullet points based on examples. Please provide me with examples and I do my best to assist you. Now, this is the crazy thing. Like, I never thought this was actually possible. Well, in a way, I thought it was possible, but I didn't know that it would turn out this way. So here's what I did. I went out there and I took copies from the top 10 copywriters in the world that I look up to, that I would read and study. And I just compiled it into this 35 page document. All I did was I copied the way they would write their bullet points. So some of them, they, it, could, it could be selling a specific book. So I might say, you know, page 28. It's just a little tease to how they write their bullet points, right? So all I did was I copied and pasted this 35 page of copy and how bullet points was written from the top 10 copywriters in the world that I follow. And the next prompt that I did was this. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, here's some examples, and I'm just gonna literally paste a snippet of the entire, the different bullet points for ChatGPT to learn, okay? Now, what's gonna happen right now is um, ChatGPT is just, revising some of the bullet points that I fed, okay, um, in the system. But that's not what we're looking for, right? We are now literally training AI on how to think about a specific framework to be able to find something in common in the way the different bullet points are, are written, okay? So what's gonna happen next is I could literally keep continuing the process. I could just keep feeding the AI or chat GPT more and more examples, but that's not a part of this video. I'm just here to show you that what you feed in frameworks, swipes, it takes swipe copy and swipe files to a whole new level because this literally feels like an episode from the matrix where I don't know if you remember this scene where I believe this was like what 20 plus years ago when or 30. No, 20, right? When, when Neo like puts in a chip to learn, I don't know, a skill set, and it just loads up in a couple of minutes. It's kind of like that right now. So imagine now I'm gonna write and put my own version in the box. Now that I've trained the AI on how to think, now I'm gonna say this. All right, so all I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to ask ChatGPT, based on those examples I gave you, can you please rewrite these bullet points? Now this bullet points was basically what my team did in the past, it's, it's, it's not bad, it's pretty good, but I was shocked at the result, okay? So for example, um, this one technique to create effective ads and how you can do it too, right? Take a look at this. 
Master the art of creating ads with this one technique that can help you achieve your advertising goals, similar to how David Ogilvy accidentally discovered a secret about headshot picks and how you can learn this powerful technique to make your ads more effective. See page 107 for details. Now, obviously, this thing will not be relevant here because, again, it's based on the model that was fed in the input, right? Now, if you think about the before, the proven ad formula and big picture, just fill in the blanks and watch the script write itself. Pretty good, you know, pretty respectable bullet point, not bad. But take a look at the after. Fill in the blanks with this proven ad formula and big picture that will help you write scripts with ease. Watch your ads practically write themselves, similar to the cheapskate guide on building a hot list of leads. You can use a formula to create ads so effective that they practically write themselves. Now, I would say this here is, 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 is a repetition over here, but again, this is probably gonna be a whole lot better if I fed the entire, you know, 30 plus pages of, of examples in here, right? I, I only listed like three pages or so, okay? Uh, because you can't paste 30 pages worth of data inside ChatGPT for now, right? Who knows if ChatGPT version four, which is coming out soon, ChatGPT four, when it comes out, maybe we'll be able to take more input, but for now, you gotta be able to do it manually, right? So for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna do it 10 times, but you get the idea here, right? It's like the simple way to hook your audience to get them to listen to your ad till the very end, right? Not bad, pretty good, right? Let's see what happens over here. Hook your audience and keep them engaged to the very end of this simple technique, uh, similar to the ridiculously simple way to get other businesses to send your website the best leads. Uh, this technique is easy to implement and have a big impact on advertising success. Now, granted over here is all, it's, it's not relevant and stuff, but again, I wanted you to see how crazy it is because what this means is, I'll let you start thinking about what the, how does this impact you? How this impacts me, right? So for example, what it is that we are doing with our software over at salesprocess.com is we are literally inputting all these commands, these frameworks and templates for emails, website copy, ads, and we're loading it inside our software sales process. And quick plug for our software salesprocess.com. If you wanna be able to have all of your marketing software and systems in one place, so that means you don't need a different software for a funnel builder, you don't need a different software for emails, another different software for your CRM, another different software for your text. And if you wanna be able to have all of your automations, all of your conversations, all of your calendars, all of your opportunities, the dashboard, all in one place, integrated without managing and paying for nine different softwares. Uh, go check out salesprocess.com for a free 14-day trial. One of the things that we're working on on the software that we built on high level is literally integrating AI within the system so that all the prompts, all the templates, all the different examples from the world's top copywriters is built in within the prompt. So if you're trying to build up the bullet points for your funnel, you'll be able to utilize it here. If you're trying to write out the emails and utilize our email feature, the framework is going to be pre-built in as well. This is something that I'm super excited about. I don't see anybody doing this yet. But if you want to go check it out for free, just go to salesprocess.com to have your entire marketing backend campaign integrated in one place. Now back to this example, right? So how are we doing this? Now, if you take a look at this example over here, I don't know if you, got, if you guys are excited as I am. This goes beyond just funnel copy. This means that literally, if you want to do this manually, you can literally compile the work of the people that you like. It could be Shakespeare, right? And utilize maybe the, may, the top 10 poets that you like, put in an example and get AI to learn it. This could be for your ads. You could literally load in the top templates for different ads that you like, swipe it in, put it in here. And again, you could train ChatGP that says, based on the different ad examples that I've given you, here's 100 different examples. Here's my ad. Please rewrite this ad based on the examples that I gave you. Are you seeing the power of this? So this means that you can do this for copy, for email, for your funnels. And again, if you wanna check out having all of that pre-built integrated, this is gonna be our latest feature drop. Super excited about this. Go to salesprocess.com for a free 14-day trial. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below uh, what are some of the things that you are going to be utilizing ChatGPT for. Um, I know that we are still in 
the baby steps of AI. And I hope that by the end of this video, you're now going to start building up your bank of templates and swipes and start utilizing it. Start using like ChatGPT to literally be your slave and work on you, uh, work on you, work for you um, on demand. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy it, subscribe to the channel. Just help the channel out. Let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway is and I'll see you in the next video.